So the next thing we're going to do is look at pages. We're going to update our home page and see how to add and change text, insert images, insert a video, things like that. And also show you how to use some other pages if you want to have like resource pages um, for SAT information or Naviance how to's, things like that. So I am going to go back to the Canvas course. And right now I'm on the home page. And I can see that by looking over here where it says home. And this is kind of the generic template that was given to me for this course. I'm not 100% sure what yours is going to look at. It might just be a blank page. It might have some information already there. What you are going to do is you are going to click on edit and here in edit you will give the page a title it could be um, information like karma high school ninth graders or whatever it might be and then on this page you are going to be able to edit any text um, this is currently in a table right now but I can just go right below with my cursor and I can start typing things. I can highlight it and click bold. I have italic, I can underline, I can change the text color. I can change the background color if I want it highlighted. I can clear any formatting. I can center it or indent, etc. I could add super and subscripts, bullet points, um, a numbered list. You can add your own table. So this right here is a particular table. So if I click on this, I could do table and I could just do one square. And this could help you so that you can um, maybe organize things and kind of center things a little bit. And um, you have the property menu here for the table, but I can, again, just type in the table, add pictures. I'm gonna delete that. Um, you also have some options here to hyperlink. So let's say you wanted this to go to your school website. You can highlight this text and click on the hyperlink and type in your school website address. And now when people click on it, they will go to the website. If you don't want that link there anymore, just highlight it and click remove link. Now there are some other features here. Um, here's how to change font size. Um, let's see. Okay. So if you want to add a video to this screen, an introduction for your students, because this is going to be the first thing that they see, um, especially for the freshmen, this will probably be the first time or way that they meet you. So you might want a video. If you look at this menu, one of the options is this um, icon that kind of looks like the YouTube icon, just colorless. And if you, if you hover your cursor over it, it says record upload media. So if I click on that, I have the option to record media or upload media. And upload media would be I already have made a video and I just want to upload it. But you could also record media. So down here at the bottom left, this gives me the option of what microphone I want to use. And so right now it is um, set to my default microphone for my computer. I am currently wearing headphones when I'm recording this using my screencasting tool. And so I might want to choose to choose those as my microphone. Um, but choose your mic if you're using an external mic. If you have something like this that you might be using too, you can always choose whatever mic you have. Then you have the option on the right hand side for webcam or not. So right now you guys see me talking, but I can choose to have um, no video. And so this would just be recording a audio file for your students. But again, since it's your first time meeting them, many of your students, it might be a good idea to use that webcam so they can see you and really kind of um, capture your um, expressions and things like that because that helps make that personal connection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press start record. I haven't recorded any of that yet. And when I start recording, it gives me a countdown. 
And then I can say like, hi, welcome to uh, this high school. My name is so-and-so and I'm so happy to meet you. Email me, whatever you wanna say, okay? You can start over if you don't like what you said, but I'm gonna say finish. And when I say finish, it kind of pauses and you have no idea what's happening. There's no spinning circle telling you that it's uploading or waiting or anything, but really it is. Um, actually, I, that's not happening yet because I forgot to save it. So I'm just gonna title this like intro and then press save. And so you can see when I press save, nothing is really happening. And so in this time, you just have to kind of trust that it's going to work. Depending on your home internet, it could take longer. Um, also, if you have a longer video, it may take a while. But it's this kind of uncomfortable waiting of, is it really going to record? All right, so it has recorded. It is now added to my Canvas page. I just see this weird looking link though. It says it will be replaced with the preview icon for the embedded media. And it says it's a media comment, but it looks really funny right now. Um, I'm gonna, before I press save, I'm going to show you just one other feature that you might wanna use. So if I wanna add an image, let's say I want a picture of myself on the page. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna click on this icon right here that says embed image and it asks for an image URL if you already have a picture that you can find the website address for. I can find a picture from Flickr and I can search for Flickr images, but I want a picture that I have saved on my computer of me. So where it says Canvas, I'm gonna choose My Files, and when I do that, you might have noticed that this turned green instead of gray. And so I can use this to upload a file and I have a picture on my computer right here that I'm going to use. So I'm going to open it up and it's added it to my Canvas page. Okay, so I clicked on it right here for alt text. This is something that helps with accessibility for your students. You want your students, if they have screen readers, to be able to have it read what that image is. So when it says me.jpg, my students aren't going to know what that means. So I'm going to title it and say um, picture or headshot of me. And then I normally leave the dimensions just as they are and I say update. So now I added this and if I want to resize it, I can just click on it and resize that image. Okay, so now I have edited the website however I want it. I am going to click save. When you look at this, when I scroll down, you'll see my image here. Um, you have this uh, weird text that I typed in, but right over here is that intro image or intro video that I created. So if I play that and then I can, it will open up really big and it will fit the screen and the students can watch the video right here in Canvas. Now, one thing that you might want to do, it's not good to full screen like I just did. One thing you might want to do is go back into edit and just give it a title. So I'm going to go back to this video and I might say like video introduction by Miss Hero. Okay, one thing I might want to do is take this text and just have it on top of the left. So I'm going to um, use that left icon and I don't need it highlighted. I'm going to remove that, re make it black text. And now when they see it, it's going to have just a title for the video. And again, you might want to play around with this, make it look nicer than what I just did. Now, when you're on this page, if I go back to home, you can see my home page has changed. But you have the option, I'm on pages on the left, to add other pages to your website or to your Canvas page. So if I click on View All Pages, I can add a page. And maybe I want to title this um, Naviance Instructions. 
Then you can type up and put whatever information you want, pictures, images, you have all of those same features right here. And then you are going to save it. If you just click save it, save on the right, it saves it, but no one is going to be able to see your page. You need to make sure you publish your page. So make sure that you are ready for people to see pages. If you have students in your course and you publish, um, they might get notifications. So don't post assignments or things um, as published until you are ready for them to be live. I'm going to go ahead and choose publish right now for this. And there's nothing here other than a title just because I didn't type anything on this page. But again, you can add lots of information to that. Okay, so here is just your home page. If you want students to see your pages, you're going to click over here. They can click view all pages. But I'm going to show you soon how to, let's say, in an announcement or in an assignment, you might have a link that goes to this page. I'll show you how to do that to make it easy for students to find the pages when you want them to find the pages.